Hey, that's weird. There's an X and it keeps on changing colors. Yes. Why does it change colors? Well, we, we haven't investigated polarized light yet, have we, Lila? No. no. Well, just to sort of simplify it, back there is a very bright projector and they're shining a light up here. But in front of the projector, I have a special kind of plastic that makes, that cuts out all the light except going in one plane. And of course, because the plastic is turning, that plane is constantly turning. Then behind this screen, I have another one of those pieces of plastic. When the two of them are exactly at right angles, that's when it gets dark, like that. And when the two of them are lined colors. up, then it gets light. But in between those two things, I am putting plain cellophane tape. And it has the characteristics of twisting that light just a little bit to produce a color. Oh. Watch, I'll put another one right over the middle, and you watch what happens to the center. to a completely different color. Yes. Now scientists use this principle of polarizing light to study all kinds of things, but especially crystals. And notice that when you understand that this particular uh, thing is changing color with, from blue to yellow, right, or gold, yeah. in a certain position, you now know when you look at this that there must be more layers because it changes color right in there. Yeah, so if it's three layers, it's Three yellow. layers is one color, and if it's yeah. four layers, it's another color, and so forth. In fact, you go back, take a couple pieces of the tape, and put it on the screen, and see what kind of an effect you can create. Don't cross it in the middle this time. Put it someplace else. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now take another one at sort of an angle. Okay, now come around and see what you've done. Now everything's now, well, going now we have a, a Now we have a red and a blue up here. See, here's two layers right here. Also, it depends on what angle you cross them. So you're getting all kinds of different effects. That's neat. Now, scientists don't necessarily do this for spinning. They do it to study, you know, the surfaces and the layers of crystals. But it's sort of fun to be able to play with it and make modern works of art. In fact, I have one all prepared. Do you? If, yes. If you wait there for just a minute, I will bring it up and you will see what you can do when you do layer after layer after layer. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? There's tons of colors. And lots of different colors and lots of different shapes. And it's always changing. And all of this is done with that plain transparent cellophane tape, putting them between two polarizers to get what looks like thousands of different colors.